Hey keto peeps, it's Samaya and welcome back to my YouTube channel, I Don't Sugarcoat. Today I got a great little recipe for you. We're gonna be making one of my favorite treats, walnut butter chocolate chip fat bombs. Fat bombs are really great at helping you to meet your macros. If you find that you're a little bit short on reaching your fat goal for the day, make some fat bombs, eat one, eat two, and I guarantee you're gonna be right where you need to be. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start by adding a fourth of a cup of walnut butter. Now, you don't have to use walnut butter. I just particularly love the way this tastes. So you can use almond butter or you can use peanut butter, whatever you prefer. I've actually had it with all three. To me, walnut butter is the best, then comes peanut butter, then comes almond butter. So let's get that added to your bowl. You want to make sure you scrape all of this out because you want to make sure you get that really good flavor for whatever nut butter it is you're using. And now you want to add half a stick of butter or four tablespoons of butter. Next, we're gonna add a half a stick of cream cheese or four ounces. And you wanna make sure that the butter and the cream cheese and your nut butter are all at room temperature because it's gonna make it easy to blend together. Okay, and now we're gonna add your sweetener of choice. If you want to use a liquid stevia, great, go ahead. Um, I like to use granular for this recipe, but some people like to use um, confectioner swerve. So whatever you want, use it for me. It's granular. And this is, um, this is actually an erythritol stevia mix that I really, really love. Um, the name brand, I believe it's called Pure. It's spelled P-Y-U-R-E. And I just love the stuff. For me, it's one, it's my fave. Like, it just is the perfect blend. And you wanna add in a teaspoon of vanilla. Now I'm not using a very deep bowl, so I'm gonna to have to be very careful. I, I like to use this bowl because after we get done mixing everything together, you gotta to let this sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, and then you're gonna scoop them out into single servings. And using a metal bowl really, really helps it to chill. So just note that if you're not using a very deep bowl, that it is gonna kinda of splash out. So make sure you make note of that. Okay, now that my ingredients are almost well incorporated, I am going to get that first before I drop it. Okay, I am going to go ahead and use my spatula to kind of bring everything down towards the bottom of the bowl so that my mixer can, my hand mixer can uh, get it all blended up nice. And then we're just gonna go back and give it another good mixing and then we'll add in our chocolate chips. Okay. Okay, now that that is all nice, nice and mixed together and you wanna make sure that you don't see any separate clumps of butter or cream cheese so just give it one more mix through with your spatula. And 
now that I see that everything is nicely blended, I'm going to add in a third of a cup of um, semi-sweet chocolate chips. And these are made by Lily's. And if you don't know about this brand, guys, you should. This is amazing. I love her chocolate chips. She even has um, milk chocolate ones now, um, dark chocolate. Uh, you can find them sometimes in certain Walmarts, um, or you can order them from um, Amazon, or you might be able to find them at your local grocery store. It just kind of depends. It's becoming really popular, a really big thing, so I just really, really love these chocolate chips. And they would probably make for a good snack, but I don't want to get carried away, so I only use them for recipes. So one third of a cup. And now you just want to fold this in. spatula so that all of it is going to be in the bowl and now you just want to go ahead and cover this and let it sit in your refrigerator for 30 minutes and then we're going to get them scooped out and put in the freezer because these you want to eat frozen so I'll be right back once these are ready to scoop out Okay guys, it's been 30 minutes and now it's time to get our fat bomb scooped out and put into, um, I'm using some little uh, uh, food prep containers to put mine in and they've just got these little tiny um, cupcake uh, liners in there so we can just keep them nice and separate and keep them as little single servings. So let's get um, the plastic wrap off of there. Now, if you have yourself a tiny cookie scoop, that would be the best thing to use. But if you don't, just use a spoon and get in there and use your finger, get them in there as nice and neatly as you can. All right. As you can see, it's a, your fat bombs will be a little bit more stiff now. And you just wanna You gotta be careful dropping them in there. They'll tip over, teeter over, and move around a little bit. But once you start getting them in there, the papers will be still. And try to make sure you don't use too much because you wanna try to get at least 12 out of this. so cute. I kind of wish I could lick this bowl, but right now is my fasting hours and I can't do it, but I wish. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just put the lids on this and then I'm going to throw these in the freezer. And like I said, you want to keep and store these in the freezer. You don't want to let these um, be in the fridge and be soft like this because they're not going to taste very good. Now, if you don't want to eat them like super, super hard, you can go ahead and take them out for maybe like five, 10 minutes before eating them and they'll be, they'll still be kind of firm, but they'll have a nice soft creamy texture to it. So eat it how you prefer. I usually just eat them, you know, when they're hard and frozen like that, but um, whatever you prefer is up to you. So go ahead, put them in the freezer, let them stay in there for maybe an hour. That should be about the time that it takes for it to set. You can check on them after an hour. So I usually try to make these before it's time for me to have my evening meal. And then after an hour, go ahead, pull them out and enjoy them. Thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Um, I'm gonna leave um, some links for some of the ingredients down in the description below and you guys I just want to say I appreciate everyone who has come here watch the video please like 
subscribe hit the little bell so you can get a notification when I post a new video because I've got more great things coming thank you so much bye